عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم، الحمد لله، ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. نعم. The hadith will be taken to be is the first hadith in the book of Al-Imam uh, Al-Nawawi. The hadith goes thus An Amir al Mu'minin Abi Hafs Umar ibn al Khattab Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu Qal Sami'at Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Yakul Inna al A'malu Bil Miyat وإنما لكل مرئ ما نوى فمن كانت هجرته إلى الله ورسوله فهجرته إلى الله ورسوله ومن كانت هجرته للدنيا يصيبها أو امرأة ينكحها فهجرته إلى ما هاجر إليه هاجر إليه رواه البخاري ومسلم this is the content of the hadith. Now, the hadith has been related from Umar ibn al-Khattab. It says, An Amir al muminin From the leader of the believers, Abi Hafs, the father of Hafs, Umar ibn al-Khattab, radiyallahu, now, from that, the first person to be called Amir al Mu'minin is Umar ibn al Khattab. Umar ibn al Khattab. Umar, okay, let me just use it as. Bun al Khattab. But as per the traditions of the uh, the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they don't call themselves using their names. They rather call them using something we call kunia or lakop, a nickname. It's more befitting rather than you using the person's name. That is why Omar ibn al-Khattab's first child is Hafsa, the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hafsa. So he is now known as Abu Hafs, the father of Hafsa. Aha. Now, you know, said this hadith comes from. Amir al Mu'mini, Umar ibn al Khattab, who is also known as who? Abu Hafs. He now said, Samir to 
Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I heard directly from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying, "Inna al-a'malu bil-niyat. Inna al-a'malu bil-niyat." Indeed, every action is judged based on the intention. Wa inna ma li kulli mri'in ma nawa. And everyone will be rewarded according to the intention. That is to say, if you have a good intention, then you will be rewarded in accordance with that intention. But if you have an hidden intention behind whatever you are doing, Allah knows well, and you will be rewarded accordingly. فَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجْرَتُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ Whoever makes hijrah, holy migration, from Mecca to Medina because of Allah and His Messenger, فَهِجْرَتُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ It would be rewarded that he has made the migration for who? Allah and His Prophet وَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجِرَتُهُ لِلْدُنِيَا يُسِيبُهَا He who ever now makes hijrah لِلْدُنِيَا because of worldly attires يُسِيبُهَا that he wants to acquire because after the muhajirun those who left their hometown with the Prophet ﷺ from Mecca when they got to Medina they were, you know, well, they were given a, a befitting welcome and those in Medina who accepted Islam, who we know as the Ansar, decided to share their wealth with their brothers in Islam. So, some people heard the news in Makkah. They now decided that, what is, the, what is my use in Makkah? If I can go to Medina and have wealth. Now, the Prophet now say, he who ever now travels from Makkah to Medina, the dunya, because of worldly things, you see, Buha, that he wants to acquire Kihuha. Or perhaps he has heard that those who made hijrah were given wives. He now traveled with that intention of getting a wife. He will be recorded, he will be rewarded accordingly. Imam al You know, so this hadith, you can find it in the books of the two Imams of hadith. Who are they? He said, the first amongst them is Rawahu Imam al The Imam of the Muhaddithi, the leader of those who makes a compilation of the sayings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam you can find this hadith in his book who is that person? Abu Abdullah the person is known as Abu Abdullah Muhammad bin Ismail but his real name is Muhammad bin Ismail bin Ibrahim bin al -Maghira. that is the genealogy of the person bin Bardizba al Bukhari. The person known as Imam Bukhari. So now, the genealogy of Imam Bukhari is as follows. So, his name is Abu Abdullah. That is his, the name they call him. Because we already told you, people, mostly the scholars or the Sahabas and those after them do not call um, people using their names. They rather call them using their nicknames. That is more befitting. So, but the real name of Imam Bukhari is what? Muhammad. Bun Ismail. Muhammad, the son of Ismail, Bun Ibrahim, Bun Mughira, Bun Bartisba. So, let me just put down the name of uh, Imam al Bukhari. His name is Muhammad.
بن اسماعيل This is his name But his genealogy goes further بن إبراهيم بن المغيرة بن فرديسبه who is known as Al Bukhari so if you are asked the name of Imam Bukhari we all know now that his name is what? Muhammad Bun Ismail he now goes for that that Wa Abu Hussein and Somebody else also related this hadith. Who is that person? Abu Hussein. The person known as who? Abu Hussein, the father of Hussein. What is his name? His name is Muslim Bun Hajjaj Bun Muslim. His own name is Muslim Bun Hajjaj Bun Muslim. The author of that Sahih al Muslim. So if you are asked his name, his name is Muslim Bun Hajjaj. Called, he is also called Abu Al Hussein. Right. And now goes further. That's Muslim Bun Hajjad Bun Muslim Al Kushayriju Al Naysaburiju. So now, Imam Bukhari is called Al Bukhari because it comes from this country, this country called Bukhara. But Imam Muslim comes from uh, Naysabur. Naysabur. That is why it's called an Naysaburiju. Aha. He now said, Radiallahu anhuma. May Allah be pleased with the two of them. So you can, in Fi Sahih Hajima, he said, you can find this hadith in the two, there are two Sahih books. Alladaini Huma. The two books that has been said about them as what? The best of books compiled after the Quran. So now if we are asked that what is the best of the books compiled after the Quran, we will say it is what? The two Sahih Hain. The Sahih um, Kitab of Muhammad bin Ismail, popularly known as Bukhari, or the Sahih book of who? Muslim bin Hajjaj. Known as Imam Muslim. So, I think from this hadith now, we can see that calling one by having a name other than your maiden name is something that is established from the Sunnah. You don't just call a person by his name. Secondly, Aniyah, intention, is embedded in the heart. It is not something people know. That is what the Prophet said. It is you that you know. If it is because of Allah, you made your hijrah, you will be rewarded accordingly. But if it is because of another thing, you will also be rewarded. So we all know that intention is what? Embedded in the heart. From here also, we see that... Uh, we know the, the person who, is, who was first addressed as Amir al-Mu'minin. It was who? Abu Hafs. Umar bin al-Khattab. The second Khalifa. The second successor of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa From there, we also know the name of Imam al-Bukhari. And what is his name? Muhammad bin Ismail. We also know the name of Imam al-Muslim. 